And uh, one more piece on George Washington. Oh man, that's cool. This I love. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> this I love. Yep. Goes right Scott. with it. Yeah, look at this. Compass, meet paper. Haven't seen each other for a while. <laughs> um, this is the first and only compass that he had his whole life. He was a surveyor. Um, so he had this when he died. He had this when he was 12. Um, and what is the best, Jim, come here for a second. Come here. What's great is you can jam it into somebody's chest. No. Um, what is great is um, if you, you see that little bend there? I certainly do. If you put your hand, if you hold it like this, I was, I was having an extraordinarily bad day. I had to make some really strong decisions. We were making the decision about this. And I had to make some decisions. And, um, and I carried this with me all day to keep true compass, tr true north, keep everything exact. And I carried it with me all day. And it didn't take me very long before I had it in my hand. And I put my thumb right there. Hold it. Put, it, put your thumb. Put your thumb right there. I have a feeling George Washington did the same thing. You feel that? Oh, absolutely. It's exactly, it's, it's a thumb. It goes it's, electric through you. It's amazing, isn't it? You should feel it when I jam it in your chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. You want to try it, Brandon? Yeah. This is a ladies, uh, this, is a, this is a men's only compass, by the way. <laughs> Anybody else? If you promise not to jam it into everybody's chest and be very, very careful with it, I'll start it here and you can pass it around. Wait a minute. Did anybody bring an old compass? <laughs> okay, because I expect this one back. Kim, you have one. You know, okay, you can't make sure he doesn't get it. You just want